Operators of steam power plants, coal, gas, or nuclear, need the ability to see and diagnose issues in real time to optimize plant thermal and financial efficiency. Being able to get the most power out of a unit of fuel and being able to spend an optimum amount on O&M and capital expenses are critical to these plants' financial fortunes. With Pi Vision, the main screen for a steam plant can be designed in any way you please, with ability to drill down on the boiler cycle or the turbine cycle, or any other equipment groups you'd like. You can also incorporate analytics to help your operators fine tune their cycle. This example main screen shows some of the parameters you can display along with multiple ways of displaying the data. On the top of the screen, we see the gross and net loads for the plant as a whole they are displayed in a time series plot. On the left side of the screen, you can see some broad overview parameters displayed with dial indicators. On the right side, you can see that files such as JPEGs and GIFs, etc., can be displayed as a backdrop for parameters or simply as a photo for aesthetic sake. From this main screen, the engineer can drill down to look at individual unit displays. Here again, you see a number of parameters displayed in various ways. You can see that we are now looking at just unit one values. On this screen, you can see that in vision, it is very easy to change from one unit to its sister unit. There are two ways to do this, pull downs, and what is essentially a button. Either one can change the context from one unit to another. At this point, an engineer can change to a more detailed look at the boiler cycle. You can see on this display, again, the ability to bring JPEGs and GIFs into a display. You can see the ability to change from boiler unit one context to boiler unit two context, just like on the unit display. On this display, you can see an additional method of displaying data, a table. This table shows the current value and a trend over the display's time range. The table can also show statistical data, such as mins and maxes, or the average of a parameter over the timetable set in the display. You can quick click on a few parameters and to get a quick look at an ad hoc graph of the data. Let's look at fuel flow, that's boiler efficiency, feed water flow, and get an ad hoc look. This is simulated data, so it's not real interesting, but you can see how easy it is to immediately get a look at data without having to build a new display. Similarly, you can look at the turbine cycle. Here you see the turbine cycle with some simple canned graphics. You can see that the feed water heaters have multi-state colors. In this case, they're all green since they're all in service. However, if one were red, the engineer or analyst could get an immediate indication that a heater was out of service. You could add an additional state, yellow for example. If the heater was in service, but operating at a reduced efficiency, perhaps as indicated by a substandard temperature rise or a lower terminal temperature difference. Speaking of terminal temperature difference, one of the powerful features in Pi system is the analytics. As you might have deduced, if Pi can calculate TTD, there's access to steam tables as well as logical operations within Pi analytics. These analytics do not need a computer scientist to make them happen. A simple process engineer, such as myself, can do the analytics operations. Speaking of analytics, clicking on the controllable loss display shows the power of analytics as set up by a process engineer or subject matter expert. 
Obviously, to have a display like this, there needs to be analytics running in the background, incorporating steam table calls and other simple logic. A table such as this can show actual and design values of the major parameters, letting an engineer or operator see how quickly they can improve the unit's efficiency. Finally, displays can be set up for individual pieces of equipment, such as pumps, fans, compressors, or in this case, feed water heaters. On this display, you can see the service flag, multi-state indicator showing that the heater is in service. You can pull maintenance data to show when the last flow accelerated corrosion inspection was done on this heater and how many hours of operation there have been since that inspection. Dial indicators can show the current values of a parameter, such as TTD, along with the expected value. You can show whatever other parameters you'd like to have at the fingertips of the viewer. Further, you can see at the top of the screen, you can switch not just from one unit to the next, but from one feed water heater to another one. These changes can also be done from the pull down. This video is a quick tour of how Pi can be set up for a steam plant. Pi Vision can provide quick access to the Pi systems on a plant level, a unit level, by turbine or boiler cycle, or on individual pieces of equipment. This access can be for local operators, remote subject matter experts, marketers, or executives. Analytics can be set up by people who are not computer programmers for items as simple as a temperature drop across a cooler to more complicated efficiency calculations doing steam table calls. With the Pi system, the possibilities for accessing, viewing, and analyzing your data are nearly endless. In this example, we were looking at steam fire generation, but you could focus on any type of generation, on operating parameters or maintenance workflows. You can set up PI calculations for quick real-time calculation of KPIs, calculations of potential excess power that can be sold by a marketing group. The possibilities again are endless. Using data will empower you to make better, faster, and smarter decisions every day by getting the right data to the right people in the right context. Thank you. Thank you.